How you doing, Mr. Doggy? This is the correct explanatory video for the friendly dog in MW3 Zombies. All of its abilities, how to give it more health, and the correct way to get all four tiers of dog, including the dark ether one. Many people have gotten this video wrong. So today, we'll talk about how to get a friendly dog of each tier, how much meat you need for each, what he does, all of his abilities, and even discussing the schematic for it, how to acquire and use it. So that said, let's get this out of the way now. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you, meatballs? As always, I got you with an elite guide, and today, we're focusing on the doggy. So before I tell you how to get the dog and go over the schematic, we'll discuss the basics and his abilities. And it's actually very simple. Around the map, there are tons of dog houses. On this cheat sheet, you can see that there are locations of dog houses marked. Side note, if you want more cheat sheets, including constantly updated versions of this one and a consolidated one, and even a dark ether map, as more updates come out, make sure to join my Elite Cod Zombies Discord server, as well as to follow me over on X, where I will always post the stuff I'm working on early. And also, I've been considering giving exclusive extra content to YouTube members, so if you want to become a member, click the join button down below next to the subscribe button. But coming back, an important note about the doghouse is that every location you see on this map should spawn in your game. However, if somebody uses it, then it will disappear as each one is a one-time use per location. Yes, this also includes the red zone doghouse, which there is only one location of. So now that you know that, who is the doggy? Well, very simply, he's going to be your best friend. After getting the dog, he will revive you when down, act as a smaller scale kind of decoy monkey bomb, and even kill zombies for you. Now, I know this sounds awesome on solo, and it definitely is, but when you think about how big this zombies map is this year, you really come to appreciate the dog in Koa. If you're in the upper left-hand corner of the map, and your teammate is in the lower right-hand corner of the map, for example, complete opposite sides, and if one or all of your teammates down, the dog will come to them and release a healing aura type of effect that immediately revives them. They just obviously can't be completely dead and bled out, they just must be down. It truly is a fantastic tool. Getting back to the mentioned cheat sheet, you'll notice that there are quite a few dog houses on it in the gray zone, some more in the orange zone, and as mentioned, only one in the red zone. Now that you know this, let's move on to the meat talk, which is very important when it comes to getting the dog and understanding why there's certain dog houses in each zone. So yeah, about the meat, there are multiple ways to obtain meat inside of MW3 Zombies, and the first way is to buy a Meeple Army t-shirt at my website. Just kidding. Anyways, these methods of obtaining meat all root down to the same thing, killing zombies. You can opt to simply kill zombies with any weapon, and that'll slowly accumulate pieces for you, it definitely will work. And if you choose to do this, a simple addition that should speed this process up is the Shatter Blast ammo mod because of its explosive qualities. But moving forward on the same kind of track, your next option is to specifically use explosive weapons like the grenade launcher. These weapons seem to guarantee a higher success rate of these zombies dropping meat. If all else fails though, and for whatever reason you just can't get any meat, there are two things that can make this even easier for you. Using cashmere grenades and or utilizing exfil points. Cashmere seem to be some kind of just meat generating machine, but if you just can't get one in your game, don't want to buy one for 5,000 points from the red zone buy station, or for some reason it doesn't work, the simplest way to just get more zombies quickly, which will indirectly get you more meat quickly, because you'll be killing more zombies more quickly, would be to just utilize those exfil points like I said. Go to an exfil spot, call on the chopper, and kill the zombies that spawn in as quickly as possible. You will more than likely get two pieces of meat from doing this alone at minimum. I've gotten at least two every single time. There's no set number, but it's hard to not get two. Obviously, don't get on the chopper because the meat doesn't carry over and stay in your rucksack for the next game, like a perk can can, for example, but you can utilize these exfil points to get more zombies to get more kills more quickly. All right, at this point, I ask that if you're enjoying this elite guide to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Meeple Army for more eliteness. But yeah, that was a full overview on how to get the meat, a basic of the dog, and now on to how to use it and how much of this meat is needed. So to use it, the meat that is, simply interact with one of the dog houses around the map and then interact with the meat inside of your rucksack again to place it down. If you're familiar with it, it's literally the same mechanic as placing turret cards into turrets around the map. Now the dog houses are a bit different because if you don't place enough meat in a certain dog house, it may just break. But if it actually doesn't, and it may not sometimes, you should be able to go back and hand it more meat enough for the dog to spawn in. Moving forward, in MW3 Zombies, there are actually four tiers of dog as mentioned in the intro. Each tier, which can be obtained from the next harder zone. This means that at minimum, the tier one dog you can get from the gray zone, which requires one piece of meat. The tier two dog you can get from the orange zone, which requires two pieces of meat. The tier three dog which you can get from the red zone which requires three pieces of meat and the dark ether dog which is what i'll call a kind of tier three plus dog but is technically dark ether tiered you can only get this one from the dark ether and it still is however only requiring three pieces of meat now that you know these minimums i'd like to tell you that i have tested out as well as scoured the internet for answers and have concluded not with 100 confidence at all but with some confidence that yes by placing more dog meat in any of the dog houses the dog will gain more health this means 
means that a tier one dog should have more health points with four chunks of meat than it will with one. Because of the crazy variability that exists in Modern Warfare Zombies though, the testing methods that I used, that people I've asked and stuff I've read online, it still cannot allow me to say again with 100% certainty though, that more meat definitely equals stronger dog. It definitely does appear that way by the basic eye test and some of the stuff that I've ran into in my game test, no doubt at all. But I can confirm with numbers, despite my very rigorous scientific methods, that this dog definitely gains more health with more meat if my life depended on it. But I can say with confidence that I do think that more meat equals more health points for your dog. Quick promo, if you want to learn more about the Dark Ether, separate from the main Easter egg and secret ruin free wonder weapon cases guide, I'll have a full Dark Ether video up soon explaining everything about that area in one video. Sub for that, but for now, here's a cheat sheet for you guys early. Again, available in my Discord and at the link in the description. Enjoy. Back to the doggy. Regardless of what tiered dog you obtain, the dog will always be with you. It's just that for each tier, there are slight differences that you need to be aware of, including how to get each tier. Because a lot of people who made a dog guide still don't understand how to get a tier 3 dog. As I just said, it's not four pieces of meat in the red zone doghouse, it's three. Even though I believe four pieces of meat makes the dog stronger regardless of what tiered zone you're in, at minimum, you only need one meat in the tier 1 doghouse and three meat in the tier 3 slash red zone doghouse. That said, with each tier upgrade, the dog essentially just becomes more powerful. It'll have more health and kill zombies more easily, and yes, each tier boost is definitely noticeable, maybe with the exception of the Dark Ether dog, but even then, with how crazy the zombies are in there, it still does seem to last a pretty long time. But if you run into the red zone with a tier 1 dog, your friendly dog friend will be a dead one real fast. And if you guys notice, if the dog isn't necessarily doing anything too crazy and it already did take some health hits, if he rests, he actually will regenerate some of his health, which is really cool. It's not just, you know, once he bleeds out, takes enough damage like a boss, for example, he dies. No, he'll actually regenerate some of his health, which is good. Now, one last thing to talk about, the dog bone schematic. If you want to learn all about obtaining the schematic, you can watch this video of mine where I explain the Dark Ether Act 4 main Easter egg correctly, unlike some people, as usual. In short, by completing the Dark Ether Elder Sigil contracts, by completing the Easter egg first and then doing Elder Sigil contracts, you will get the dog bone schematic. This means that you cannot get the schematic from doing tier 3 red zone contracts. You must be in the Dark Ether. But yeah, upon activation of said dog bone schematic in-game, you will be awarded with the tier 3 dog in the main map and in the Dark Ether, a level Dark Ether tier dog. That's it for this video. Take care of your meatballs.